family that left England in 1630 went to New England. And those old Puritan pilgrims kept meticulous records of every birth, marriage, death. So that if you have a family that, in, in my case, lived in New England for 250 years, it is extremely easy to check every generation, all of the siblings, all of the children. My great thing, if you uh, get your best in a row, get perhaps your parents and grandparents with the dates and so on, you can hit the ground running and uh, do fairly well. It, it becomes more difficult uh, from Eastern Europe, as you say. The, uh, the DNA can help. There's three kinds of DNA. Every father passes his father's DNA to his son. Girls don't have Y DNA. Home here, and he said no. And so when we uh, initialized, uh, initial, initial, not, not, not so. When we started uh, <laughs> with the, uh, this uh, way of setting aside the land so that it can't be developed, uh, another house cannot be built on this land. I love that idea that years from today, there might be wall-to-wall -wall houses all around, but in, in my 16 acres and uh, my wife's brother's 16 acres, there can't be any more homes. Communications Chief Warren Officer, so uh, I'm doing what I'm I'm doing now, and uh, everything just worked out fine. My, my two oldest boys are both retired from the service, and my grandson is in. He's got about 10 years in, I guess, now. He's been to uh, Afghanistan a couple of times, but uh, uh, I'm retired from the U.S. Coast Guard. It's much less military. I don't know if I could have put up for 20 years with <laughs>